right, good morning, Patriots. It is another beautiful day here in Donald Trump's America where things are returning back to normal. And uh, we are going to make another video for you guys today, talk about the news, walk around Tampa, see what's going on. I got on the pink MAGA hat, and of course I'm rocking the now classic Trump good Biden bad shirt, where you can get it at the Joe Biden H2.com store, because he still does hate all of us, which is why he is bringing Russia and Ukraine into World War III. You know, he just authorized the use of long-range missiles from Ukraine into Russia, and they are using them. And uh, now we're getting increased threats of nuclear war, so uh, times are crazy. Joe Biden's final gift to Donald Trump could very well be World War III. And uh, you know what to do. You want to support my channel, gibsongo.com slash Adam Francisco. I am the only man fighting a terminal illness while still fighting for this country, the Constitution, and our boy Donald J. Trump. So let's have a good video today. And as always, God bless Trump. Hello, Gryffindor. Hello, Sky. Hello, Moon. So you guys, a lot of you asked for more videos of the dog. So here you go. We're at the dog park today to kick the day off. I like to wake up, get my dog some exercise before starting my day. So we're here for about an hour today. Then I'm gonna go home, grab a coffee, finish my dialysis treatment, and then see where the day takes me. All right, guys, so we are uh, driving out to uh, Clearwater Beach right now to see my friend, get some food, just hang out and relax. And I checked the weather here in Tampa. It is gonna be hitting 60 degrees this week. So it looks like winter is here. Winter's coming. And at nighttime, it's gonna drop down to the 50s. So definitely uh, things are changing around here in, in Tampa. And uh, in the meantime, I am having a coconut iced coffee from Dunkin' Donuts. Ah, ooh la la. And uh, we are gonna be in Clearwater Beach in about an hour. Bit of traffic right now. And uh, with the MAGA hat, of course. And let's see what kind of trouble we can get into. We'll see you guys. All right, guys. So back in Clearwater Beach for the second time since Hurricane Helene. And uh, as you can see, they have since cleared all of those massive displaced sand dunes and it looks like it is going to be uh pretty busy here again by the way this restaurant here garbage trash sucks <laughs> this restaurant they have an outdoor patio and they do not allow dogs there illogical look at this can't sit there with your dogs illogical illogical seriously guys i came here once to sit outside with my dogs and they're like we're not dog friendly. I'm like, but it's outside. And they said it doesn't matter. So don't go to that restaurant. But if you guys do want to go to a good restaurant on the beach, you go to Krabby's right here. I Krabby's, went to Krabby's last night. It's pretty good. It was very tasty. Krabby's is dog friendly on their patio because they are people of common sense, which means probably Republican owned. <laughs> most, li most likely to be Trump supporters. So all of these uh, stores, restaurants, ice cream places, pizzerias. They're all still closed from Hurricane Helene. No signs of them reopening. Here you go. How's that look? That looks pretty good. That's my guy right there. All right, so we are back here at Bad Fins. It's a really great restaurant here on the beach. Literally, look, I'm on the beach. And they're known for their uh, lobster steak tacos, which I got last time. And they were so phenomenal, I wanted to come back and get them a second time. So we're gonna do a quick food review before we uh, walk up and down the beach and uh, Talk to some people about our boy. Oh yes, these are not your average nachos. They are not. <laughs> wow, that looks bomb actually. Enjoy. Thank you, look at this guy, it's from Bad Finn. God damn, that looks good. Does that look good? Boy, does that look good. Yeah, that looks really good. Oh, by the way, that's Joe, by the way, guys. <laughs> His name is Joe. Yeah, that looks really nice. You have great energy, you wanna be part of my vlog? I just ask qu I just ask questions. Okay. What? I just want to know how you feel about Donald Trump being our president again. Oh my god! And don't hold back. This is a free speech channel. Okay. As a black woman, how do you feel? It's disappointing. How come? I feel like he doesn't represent 
the community well. What if he gets gas prices back down to $2? Doesn't matter. What if he ends all the wars? No more war in Ukraine, no more war in Israel. Doesn't matter. What if he makes home ownership possible again for people your age? Does not matter. <laughs> what if he keeps men out of women's bathrooms? Doesn't matter. So there's nothing Trump could do to reverse your, your mind? No. You just don't like him no matter what? Pretty much. Oh. I feel like he made his stance in the very beginning, you know, when he was president, what, how many years ago? Four years ago. Yeah, so, I mean, I'm not really into politics. I'm the worst person to ask, but- No, your opinion honest. matters though. Your vote counts as much as mine. <laughs> to be honest, it's just, no. All right. Well, I hope he makes America great again for all of us. I think. You should at least want. You should at least want the best for him, right? Is this like? Like you want him to do well at his job, don't you? I want everybody to do well. Exactly. At their job. So you should be cheering for him, even if you don't like him. What? I, I wanted Joe Biden to do well, and I don't like him, but I still cheer. I still cheered for him. Did you? Yeah. I don't want him to fail. No, I'm a Trump supporter. Okay. So yeah. you didn't support Joe Biden, right? But I still wanted him to do well because then America would have done well. It's a want though. But he failed. He failed us big time. That's why we voted him out. Oh, you like don't yeah. serve actually. Don't record <laughs> You got a great smile. Great to meet you. <laughs> but I just got a new job too. These are so the surf and turfs. Oh my god, look job. at this guys. Phenomenal. Where are those? That was a fantastic meal here at uh Bad Finn, highly recommend the uh, Surf and Surf Tacos. And uh, now we're gonna walk around the beach for a little bit. Guys, yeah, look at that beautiful sunset. That looks like, that looks like Donald Trump's America. Absolutely gorgeous. That is a nice sunset. I'm gonna take off my shoes and socks. That is a nice sunset. I'm a little boy. That is gorgeous. It is godlike, it's honestly godlike. It is good. Look at this, guys. This is, uh, we are we are in Donald Trump's America again, which is why it is so beautiful here. A man That's and a, a woman. And just, no, no, I'm talking about the people in front of us. It's a, just a man and a woman. Just a normal, heteronormative relationship. And it's just, it's so great to see. It's so great to see. Ladies, we have a bet. We think that you're Trump supporters. But you voted, didn't you? Good morning from Tampa. We are gonna get breakfast and this is one of the best breakfast spots in Tampa. It's called LPCX Cafe. It is Colombian inspired and boy is it good. They have a dog friendly backyard which actually reminds me of Thailand. And so I really do enjoy sitting back here. Wow, updated. Wow, looks so much newer now. I know. They think they changed it. Come on, babies. This is beautiful. They're gorgeous. Even better than before. So cool. So these fools see the chickens and they want to go say hi. Hi babies. Hi Sky. Hi Sunlight. Hi Mooney. So I want to talk about Nancy Mace who just presented a bill to keep biological men out of women's bathrooms on all federal property. Here she goes. Here's Congresswoman Mace. Congresswoman Mace, can I ask you a question as you walk here? Mm -hmm. So the question is, with your piece of legislation about banning uh, women from using, yes. uh, my question to you is: and It doesn't go far enough. I'll you be filing more bills. You have said that it was created in response to Absolutely, Congresswoman-elect McGraw. Absolutely, hundred percent. And it, but should it, legislation be created targeted at one specific person? It doesn't, it doesn't mention anyone in the legislation, but, but I'm you've not said going, it was aimed at her. 
No, I have said it's a result of this. I'm not going to allow biological men into women's private spaces. I will stand in the brink and stand in the way of anyone on the radical left who thinks that it's okay for a penis to be in a women's locker room or a bathroom or a changing room. Hell no. Spe I'm not going to stand for it. And the speaker said it would be in the House Rules Package. If it's not, I'll be ready with a motion, uh, a privileged motion to force a vote on this. This is not okay. I'm a survivor of rape. I'm a survivor of sexual abuse. And I'm not going to allow any man and any female private spaces. Now, speaker. End of story. And by the way, I'm getting death threats from men pretending to be women. Why is it that these crazy people, the insanity, the radical left, are willing to kill women over, over a man's right to be in a women's restroom? Speaker it's Johnson crazy. has said, Speaker Johnson has said he wants to treat every new member with the words dignity and respect. Well, he, well, Forcing this we're, congressperson we're to go into a male restroom, is that here? dignity and respect? Forcing women to share private spaces with men is not dignity and not respect. And I'm absolutely going to stand in the way of anyone who thinks it's okay for a man to be in our locker room, in our changing rooms, in our dressing rooms, in women's bathrooms. And in fact, if you agree with that, you're crazy because that's not okay. It's not okay. Congressman, when did, when Thank you, Congressman. We're going to peel away from this conversation, Kira. So and I got to say, like, I, uh, I definitely support that bill. We got to keep penises out of women's spaces. I mean, I think that goes without saying, but after the last four years with the radical left, you know, we got to we got to state the obvious these days. But the one thing I'll say is I do think it gets a little tricky when a trans person is passable, right? Now, the first thing we got to acknowledge is like what percentage of trans people are passable? I would argue maybe 10%. And I'll give you two examples. Uh, Buck Angel, who is a biological woman, but absolutely passes as a man. And Blair White, biological man, but also passes as a woman. So it would be a little confusing if I were to go into the men's room here and someone who looked like Blair White was standing next to me. I'd be confused like, but that looks like a woman. So if all trans people were passable, this wouldn't be an issue because you wouldn't know who was trans and who wasn't. The problem is 90% of trans people are not passable. You have men with full grown beards, six foot three, deep voices, deeper than mine, that want access to women's spaces. And it's kind of like, no, no, because you're clearly not a woman. You know, there was the Planet Fitness story where the guy was shaving in the women's room while also claiming to be a woman. Now, there are some women that have facial hair, some beards, but it's, first of all, it's extremely rare. It's typically a medical condition. And three, they look like females outside of the facial hair. Not this dude. This dude was a straight up man just shaving in the women's room. And so the problem is when you have identity as the benchmark for where you cannot, cannot go, well, this opens the door for anybody to identify as whatever they want to, which includes perverted men taking advantage of these loose restrictions. I'm not a fan of that. I don't have any daughters, but when I do, I wanna make sure that the world that I create for them is safe. And I don't want mentally ill perverts taking advantage of loose restrictions and accessing their safe spaces. Call me a feminist, but I will stand up for the rights of biological women over the rights of biological men. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. All right, we got a matcha latte with almond milk. And how good does that look, guys? Wow. Cheers, Patriots. Oh my God, that is so good. Seriously, guys, if you're looking for some good drinks, like lattes, blackberry fruit juices, come out to LPCX Cafe, this place is bomb. And if you got dogs, dog-friendly patio. And uh, yeah, bring them down. Come on, come on down. And this is the Eggs Benedict. How good does this look, guys? Oh my God. Absolutely beautiful presentation. Delicious breakfast with potatoes and blackberry juice. My God, does this look so good. Yo guys, some great news. That illegal alien criminal invader, Jose Ibarra, who killed Lake and Riley, has been found guilty on all 10 counts. One malice murder, I find the defendant guilty. Count two felony murder, I find the defendant guilty. Count three, felony murder, I find the defendant guilty. Count four, felony murder, I find the defendant guilty. 
Count five, kidnapping with bodily injury, I find the defendant guilty. Count six, aggravated assault with intent to rape, I find the defendant guilty. Count seven, aggravated battery, I find the defendant guilty. Count eight, obstruction or hindering a 911 call, I find the defendant guilty. Count nine, tampering with evidence, I find the defendant guilty. Count 10, peeping Tom, I find the defendant guilty. I uh, certainly will allow both sides to look at this if you want to do it. I mean, this man never should have been let into this country, but he was let in under Joe Biden and Kamala Harris. And he allegedly received taxpayer funding to stay at hotels and get some flights. So this is on Biden and Kamala's hands. Thank God they lost the election because these kind of things would have been happening more and more under a Kamala Harris presidency. So if you voted for Trump, you voted to protect women. You voted to keep women safe in this country. So thank you for doing the right thing. And Jose Obara, you are an evil monster. You are not even human, you are subhuman. And as Trump said, men like you, disgraces like you, are poisoning the blood of our country. It is absolutely true. I stand by what Donald Trump said because of men like you. You are disgusting. May God have mercy on your soul. And uh, Lake and Riley, I know that to your family, this will never bring the Lake and Riley family peace, but hopefully it could bring them some closure and they could start to heal. And uh, thank God another monster is taken off of our streets and uh, never ever to hurt another American again. They're trying to get Matt Gates now and they're claiming that he apparently spent like $10,000 for sex. This is what they're alleging happened. But I I'm gonna be honest with you guys. Um, this is the libertarian in me. As long as everyone's an adult, I don't care if Matt Gates sent women money and then has sex, I just, I don't care. Like I'm a big believer that two adults two consenting adults can do what they want and you know if Matt Gates was sugar daddying or paying or just giving gifts I don't I don't care but once again this is the same script that they always do when they don't like somebody they just throw sexual allegations at him they did this with Brett Kavanaugh they've done it constantly with Donald Trump they're doing it with Matt Gates now it's boring it's old Either come at me with firm proof that he did something illegal or stop coming at me with these stories. Like, I just don't care. And in the case of him paying for sex from two adults, I, I don't care. Mm -hmm.